Hi everybody. Welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into some NFL action for the final week of the regular season. But before we do, again, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which as you see here has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at these NFL games. Now, we're only going to look at five of them. There's a full slate of games for this final week of the season. We're only going to look at five of them. Here's Atlanta and New Orleans. Both teams are still in the playoff hunt, although both teams desperately need a win. Pretty much the only chance of making the playoffs is for a win in the division. So Atlanta comes in, average down, loses a three out of their last four. While New Orleans has won three out of their last four and average status. You see New Orleans is a home favorite by three and a half points with odds of minus 161 to plus 136. And you can see the over-under is at 41.5. The score prediction has New Orleans in a blowout, 35 to 11. Confidence in the prediction, though, is still rather low at only 56%. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that the teams have basically been involved in mainly games under the line in the last six. Um... So this is probably going to be a lower scoring contest. Let's take a look at a few other things. On the power ranks indicator, you can see the up and downward trend. New Orleans on a little bit of an upward trend over the last week from 8 to 14, while Atlanta is now at plus 10. So if we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup chart here, you can see that Atlanta was 25 to 14 in the last game back on November 26th as a home underdog. We take a look at the volatility oscillator. shows how stable they have been. The consistency factor, both teams them just moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. You see it. Atlanta was as high as plus five. They are now at plus four. If you take a look at a few other things, let's look at uh, the movement in the money line. This is, uh, let's get this up here. This is the New Orleans Saints money line. Opened at uh, 1.549, uh, minus 182. And you can see that there, there was a, a big movement right here. You can see where I'm at here. Now, there, at that point, it was at 1.621. And it's also now stay, it's pretty much steady at the 1.621 line. So in the end, what do I think is going to happen? I think the Saints are going to be too good at home here. They're playing better as of late than Atlanta. I like the Saints to come away with a win and cover, but I'm going to renege on the over-under bet. I'm going to pass on that. Okay, there's a couple other games here that we're not going to look at until we get down to one that we will. Here is the game between Jacksonville and Tennessee. See, Jacksonville comes in ice cold up. They finally broke a four-game losing streak by blowing out uh, Carolina. What better team to get better at, right? 26-0 uh, over Carolina, worst team in the league. Tennessee has lost their last three, and they lost in a blowout to Houston. So that means Jacksonville right now is a home, a uh, home, a road favorite by three and a half points. Uh, the odds are minus 196 to plus 159. The over under set at 40.5. Speaking of the over under, you can see in the last uh, six games combined, the teams have been involved in under the line five out of those six. If you take a look here, there's a very high chance, 97% chance, that this game will be decided by one score. So this score prediction, 34 18 with 71% confidence, contradicts that completely. Um, you take a look at the power rank syndicator here, the up and downward trend of Jacksonville. You can see the chart here with the curve going down, st steadied off for a bit and then went back up. Where Jacksonville, I'm um, excuse me, where Tennessee has steadied off at plus four. Okay, let's look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams this year. And head-to-head -head wise, back on November 19th, you see Jacksonville won by 20. It was a blowout and they were home fairs. They were large home fairs here. You see the odds were 1.315 to 3.41. So again, it was a 20-point blowout win. You take a look at the money line. It looks like there's been quite a bit of movement here. It opened up uh, minus 196. Uh, this is a Jacksonville money line. You see right here, there is a sharp move detected in favor of Jacksonville, and then there's another sharp move in favor of Jacksonville. But then look, it, it, it's pretty much leveled back out to where it started from. But e either way, Jacksonville is the fair, and I do like them to win this game and cover, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. we got Minnesota and Detroit. Minnesota comes in, loses a five out of their last six. Uh, dead status, while Detroit is averaged down uh, three and three over their last six. You can see they are a five-star game winner pick, and they are three and a half point home favorites. And you can see the odds here, minus 196 to plus 159. 
Let's take a look at the over under in in the last six games between combined between the two teams. Um, Minnesota over in three, Detroit over in two. So I take pretty good chances this will be a game over the line. And the score prediction is falling in lines with that 43 to 18. With the over under at 45.5, that would be way over that number. And the confidence in the prediction is at 77%. So we've got a high level of confidence in that occurring. Uh, let's see. We looked at what the power ranks indicate. Minnesota is just falling off the cliff here. They're at plus five. They were up as high as plus 23 back on November 19th. And Detroit's been up and down in there right now at plus 26. Um, we'll see if there's any, been any significant movement in the money line. Okay, it opened here at 1.592. You see there's been some sharp movements here. There's sharp movement uh, detected against uh, Detroit and another one against Detroit. But if you look at the end result, it's pretty much currently up. Actually, more of a favor now than it started. It's now at 1.51 compared to the 1.592. So in the end, I like um, Detroit to win. I don't see there's really much of a chance for Minnesota to walk away with a road win. So I like the Lions to cover and over the line. So now there's going to be quite a few games here that we're not going to look at. Just because of the insignificance in the in the meetings or because one team is substantially favored more than the other and won't be a very interesting contest. Like here, Dallas and Washington, we're not going to look at that one either. Denver and Las Vegas. Kansas City and the Chargers. This one here, we're not going to look at either. Most seasons, that would be an interesting game to look at, but not right now. Philadelphia and New York. And Seattle and Arizona. Again, a lot of these are insignificant matchups here as we get. Huck, here's one. The Rams and the 49ers. The Rams come in burning hot, winners of five out of the last six. San Francisco is also burning hot. They're coming off a win, and they have clinched the number one seed in the NFC, so they really have nothing to play for. But despite that, they're still a four and a half point home favorite. You see the odds here at minus 217 to plus 174. The over under is sitting at 41.5. You can see that San Francisco is a five star game winner pick, and um, San Francisco had won 80% in the favorite status in the last. Five games. If you take a look at the over under. The teams have been trending in games over the line. Ten of the last twelve games between combined with those two teams have been over the line. So pretty good indication that this will be a higher scoring game. And the score prediction with 83% confidence has 51 points total, with San Francisco winning by nine. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, not a surprise that the 49ers are up at the top here at 29. The Rams though have been skyrocketing. Uh, over the last few weeks, and they're up now to plus 23, playing much better better ball as of late. Head-to-head -head wise, San Francisco did win very early in the season. Uh, it was 30 to 23 back on September the 17th. And there has been significant movement in the money line, but there has been some. Let's take a look at that. It opened at 1.549. Actually, there were a couple of spots where there's a pretty pretty good substantial move here. Look. Here's one where the line was detected against San Francisco, and another line uh, move detected against San Francisco. But in the end, if you see now where it is, it's at back up now currently. Oh, I just lost it. Bring it back. You see now currently it's at 1.461, and the odds are even uh, better in favor of San Francisco than they were earlier. So I think this is going to be a win for San Francisco. Um, I think they are going to win this point pretty easily, and I would bet over the line on this one. The last one is Buffalo and Miami. This game is the game of the week, actually. This one will decide the AFC East. So if you take a look at this one carefully, um, Buffalo is 5-1 and one over the last six, burning hot. Miami 4-2 and two over the last six, and average stats coming off with a blowout loss to uh, Baltimore. Uh, Buffalo is a home a road fair, excuse me, by 3.5 points, and the over-under is at 49.5. So you take a look at this here. Um, Buffalo is a four-star game winner pick as on the road as a road favorite. And if you take a look, uh, Buffalo has won 80% in the favorite stats in the last five games. And if you take a look at the score prediction, a total of, of 53 points, which would be over the line, and a good high percent confidence in that prediction, the highest of the week, actually, of 88%. A couple other things we want to look at. If you look at the power ranks indicator, Miami is at plus 25. You can see Buffalo is at plus 28. 
There's been some movement in the money line. You can see the up and downward movement opened at 1.641. It got to 1.671 and then 1.2, excuse me, 1.621. And pretty much, if you look at it now, currently is right back where it started at 1.641. So in the end, it didn't really matter what movement there was during the week. It's back where it started. So anyway, I like Buffalo to win this one on the road. High scoring game winning by a field goal late. So there you have it. Those are the games for the final week of the NFL season. Happy betting and see you next time.